Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Sea of Tranquility's Rant Series. I'm your host, Pete Pardo, publisher and CEO of SOT. Today is Friday, the 29th of June. Summer is just flying by. Can you believe we're like halfway through the year already? It's like, it seemed like yesterday we were ringing in the new year. I, I just can't get over it. Anyway, we've got, uh, a, a, this is as impromptu a show as you're going to get from me. There was absolutely no planning going into this one. This little rant here that I'm going to talk about was spurred on by a little uh, online conversation I had this morning with those two wonderful gents from Music Musing. I'm talking about uh, Craig and George Seibert. We were actually conversing this morning on this recent list that came out. I don't know whether it came out today or a couple days ago or whatever. I don't know how long ago it came out. But anyway, this is basically Rolling Stone Magazine's Top 25 Songs of the 21st Century. Okay. Now, if you're like me, a lot of these Rolling Stones lists over the years have been pretty damn suspect. And a lot of times I'll read like, you know, the, the top top albums of the of the, the century and top guitar players of all time and top metal bands, top this, top that, blah, 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 blah. And you and you look at these lists and you're like, who the hell was putting these things together? They weren't talking to people who had any kind of musical common sense like you or I. Because if you find people on these lists that either don't belong or people who should be at the in the top 10 or come in at number 90 or albums that most people you talk to love, know we're on these lists, whatever, right? But I just figured I'd take a look at you know, so George and Craig had actually sent me a link to this list this morning, and I'm reading it. And I guess I feel like an old dinosaur because this is mostly new, newer stuff, right? And I'm like reading it, and I don't know half of these damn songs or half, or more than half of these these artists or bands. Back, you know, if we would, if this was a list of the top songs from like the '60s, '70s, '80s, maybe, maybe even the '90s, I'm sure I'd be like, oh yeah, oh yeah. That, but I was struggling to even comprehend who any of these people are. So I'm going to go through some of this stuff with you and. If you're someone who happened to stumble upon this rant, this video rant, and you're like maybe 30 or under, you're going to look at me and you're going to be like, that old fool, how does he not know any of these popular tunes? Granted, I may not know a lot of these, but I guarantee you this, in 15, 20 years from now, I'll bet you any amount of money that more than half of these songs that I'm going to mention here, no one will know. Okay? Because there's one thing to be said about the top songs of like the, the 60s, 70s, and the 80s. Here we are, how many years later? 40, 50, 30 years later, we're still singing those songs. They're still playing them on the radio. Guarantee a lot of these tunes uh, will be forgotten five or ten years from now. Mark my words. Uh, forgive me if I occasionally have to reach for the glasses, because, you know, I am an old fart. So, all right, number one on this list. Crazy in Love by Beyonce featuring Jay-Z. Yeah, I know who both of them are, obviously, because they're, you know, rammed down our throats all the time. Uh, Crazy in Love, never heard it. Or if I have, the title alone is not doing it for me. Uh, Paper Planes by M.I.A. I don't know who M.I.A. is. Never fucking heard Paper Planes. All right. Number three, The White Stripes, Seven Nation Army. I know well who The White Stripes are. They have a couple pretty good tunes. I can't say that I know a hell of a lot about them. Uh, I'm sure I've heard Seven Nation Army, but off the top of my head, no clue what it is. Uh, Heya by Outkast. The less said about that, the better. Jay-Z's 99 Problems. No clue. Uh, Maps by Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs. Yeah, that sounds like a classic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Kanye West featuring, featuring Pusha T, Runaway. What, I, I, I mean, am I alone here? Has anybody heard of any of these songs? Why, where are they getting this list from? Uh, again, these, are these classics? Are these deemed classics? I, I have no idea. Adele, Rolling in the Deep. Uh, I know a bunch of Adele songs only because uh, my wife is kind of a fan. And I'm sure I've heard this song before. Her, actually, her last album had some pretty good tunes on it. Not that I love it or like it much, but they're memorable. This might be one of them. I don't recognize it by the title, so I can't really help you there. Uh, let's see. Royals. 
by Lord. I have no idea who Lord is. Uh, Last Night by The Strokes. Not familiar with that either. Kelly Clarkson, Since You've Been Gone. I know that song, only because it was like played to death everywhere you went. Uh, I'm not a fan of Kelly Clarkson either, but that is kind of a catchy tune, whether you love it or not. I don't quite like it, but it, uh, hey, it's memorable. Uh, Missy Elliott's Get Your Freak On. Uh, I can't say if I've ever heard that before. Uh, Kendrick Lamar with All Right. I'm assuming that's a rapper hip hop tune. Don't know. Britney Spears' Toxic. Ugh. And, you know, what's funny is, when was the last time Britney Spears was relevant for anything? Okay, you hear less and less about her as the years go by. So while the Rolling Stone is listing this as a top song of the 21st century now, I bet you if they do a list like this in five years, that will be long gone and forgotten. All right, Crazy by Gnarls Barkley. Uh, less said about that, the better. LCD Sound System, All My Friends at number 16. Again, I... I clueless here. Missy Elliott's back again with Work It. I didn't know the first Missy Elliott tune. I certainly don't know that one. All right, here we got something kind of cool, but why? I, I don't know why it's on here. Uh, I love him to death. He's much missed. David Bowie's Black Star. Again, wasn't that done like right before he died? So, But all of a sudden, it's appearing on this list. So obviously, you had uh, one or two David Bowie fans on the Rolling Stones uh, editorial team. I love David Bowie. Um, and it's cool that he's on here, but this he doesn't fit, obviously, with all this other direct that's sitting here. But cool to see him represented. Nonetheless, uh, that's number 18. Coming in at number 19, Dancing on My Own by Robin. Yeah. All right, Amy Winehouse, Rehab. If she'd have gone to more rehabs, maybe hopefully, maybe she'd still be with us. I don't know. Um, honestly, I don't know if I know that song. I've heard a handful of Amy Winehouse tunes. I'm not sure if that's one of them. Uh, Lady Gaga's Bad Romance. That's a good tune. I don't actually have an issue with Lady Gaga. I think she's got a lot of really cool, memorable tunes. Uh, she's kind of like a, a more modern version of Madonna. With, she's got some tunes to back it up. So Bad Romance, pretty good tune. Uh, Franz Ferdinand, Take Me Out. No idea what that is. Uh, number 23, Outcast, Ms. Jackson. I am not into rap whatsoever or hip-hop, so obviously I would never have heard that. Sorry, guys. Number 24, Eminem's Lose Yourself. I detest Eminem. I don't know. I, I still to this day cannot understand why people think he is like some kind of genius. Um, he's just a white guy talking songs, doing his rap thing. Uh, I don't get it. I know a lot of people love him, so I'm probably going to get crucified for this, but whatever. Uh, number 25, fi finishing up this list, is Mark Ronson and Bruno Mars' Uptown Funk. You know, Bruno Mars has got some talent. I really can't knock the guy too much. I don't really dig him, but I get that people are into him. He's kind of catchy. He's got some personality and charisma. But I guess the moral of my story here is that this is the best that Rolling Stones can do. Well, that Rolling Stone can do, I should say. A, a, the... the Best 25 songs of the recent years, that's the best they can come up with? You mean tell me, I mean, I, I could probably pull out within 10 minutes 25 songs that are better than any of those. Granted, they won't be from artists who are on the cover of Rolling Stone or Time Magazine or showing up on TMZ or, you know, or... or tweeting this, that, and the other thing, maybe have some stupid-ass video on, I don't even know who plays videos anymore on cable television, certainly isn't fucking MTV. So, or, yeah, or, or maybe none of the people that I would mention would be on the Grammys, show up in the audience, or maybe nominated for some stupid bullshit song or whatever. Um, so I don't know. But, I mean, I get that younger people of today have, don't have much of loyalty or attention span to stay with artists over a long period of time. So, like I said, I think a lot of the stuff here today, gone tomorrow, you won't, you won't even be hearing about more than half of these acts a decade from now. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. Again, I'm not saying what I listen to and what I like is better than anybody else or better than, better than what you like. If you, if you are disagreeing with everything I'm saying today, that's cool. I get it. All I'm asking you is that so this is the best that Rolling Stone can come up with for now, for, for the best songs of the last, you know, X amount of years, 21st century here. Seriously? 
I, you know, I think if you were to go and look at even their list of the best tunes of like the certain decades, you're going to find songs that people are still singing today, that people are still wanting to hear live in concert, that people are still putting money in the jukeboxes in bars and places where they play music, right? Still buying CDs or buying stuff from iTunes or, you know, streaming whatever. Still playing on the radio, still playing on satellite, all that kind of stuff. Timeless songs. Are any of these going to be timeless songs 10, 20 years from now? I kind of doubt it. That's kind of my point to this whole rant. I just, I don't see how any of this stuff is classic. Maybe classic for some kids, I don't know. But will, will anybody be thinking that these are memorable, timeless, long-standing songs in the history of music uh, 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now? I kind of doubt it. Hey, prove me wrong. I'm, I'm happy to be proven wrong. This is just, this is my prediction. Doesn't mean a hill of beans to anybody but myself. But uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this stupid little rant. Again, brought on by a simple little exchange on instant message this morning between me and a couple friends at the absurdity of this list, which I think is quite absurd. You may not. You may disagree, and that's okay if you do. Till next time, visit us on the web at www.catranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we're here pretty often on the mighty YouTube. I've got that show I've been talking about. haven't really had much time for it lately, but I'm going to do that show in the next couple days on the no sophomore slump bands that have that came out bands in the history of music rock metal classic rock prog you name it who came out with their second albums that were just as good if not better than their dynamite debut albums and you know we talked about those dynamite debuts recently well a good amount of them came out with albums that were even as good or not if not better the second time around so till then see you take care have a good one stay cool for those of you on the east coast here it's going to be brutal See you.